Larry Silverman, and the director of the ACOT lab. And so every day, right down the street, I go to work, and it says on the door, it's the ACOT lab. So I walk around the places where I saw him, interacted with him every day, and it's just hard to think about him. Last year, I, I wrote a paper. I wanted to trace uh, Russ's last work. And at the same time, I was trying to figure out what is it that I'm doing. And it turned out that, that I convinced myself that I was continuing his work, which surprised me. I showed it to Russ, and uh, he, he more or less agreed. He criticized it a good bit. Um, and he gave me an apology. He actually handed me a book on human problem solving and rewritten. And uh, he handed it to me and said, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for this book. It's very uh, dense and tersely worded. And that's the first apology I ever got. That's the first many people here got me. Uh, and, and I read through this book as part of this uh, examining his work. And I was also examining uh, Singer's work Churchman's work, uh, and, and really when you think about it, all three of them, they didn't go for the computational side of social systems, uh, they didn't like the computer very much, but they made enormous contributions that those of us in the computational fields can benefit from. And, and so what my lab is now devoted to is actually trying to figure out how to take this sweeping in of the social sciences, this idea of designing, this idea of idealized design, into computerized tools that emulate stakeholders, that model people in the situation. So that that's you know, that's a futuristic view, I think, of carrying the rest of the work forward for a long time to come. So um, I was asked also to say a word by my room. And this is from Eduardo Glant in the engineering school. It's colorful. Mm -hmm. I will miss Russ Acock, not only because he was smart, a smart and creative individual, not only because he was as close to a trailblazer as many of us would ever meet, and not only because he was a pen man, one of us. I will also miss him because of New Highland period. <laughs> Russ was a man of deep convictions and clear thoughts. He surely knew how to stick to these convictions and how to tell you you were wrong if you thought you were wrong. And he did tell me just a few times. May the dear Lord forgive me for how much I enjoyed those exchanges with him, those moments of fury. They were smart exchanges and pregnant with a sense of irony I am sure he enjoyed them too. We both knew our respective scripts, and we played them with relish. Russ Acock was a character, a wonderful, witty character, and our lives have been better because we knew him, in addition to knowing his work and learning from him. Wherever he is, he must be telling them how they can do it. <laughs>